So we're joined here by Scorcher Mate. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice um, you as you can see from, from the setting, um, we're obviously going to be playing a little bit of football later on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're both Spurs fans, so I don't think there's any losers today. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, mm -hmm. um, 99 Rhythm, um, it's all about going back to the old school, if you like. I mean, what's, why, why is that important to you? For me, it's not really, it's not really a case of, of going back to the old school. It's more a case of just being myself. Mm -hmm. and I heard the 99 Rhythm beat. I was like, yo! Yeah. <laughs> I said, I need this now. Mm. I went and got a CD in the middle of the night, blank CD, at this video shoot, got a CD, come back, burnt it, put it in the car, I was into it all, all night. I like the idea of you driving round, freestyling to it. So, like, so you're just, what, you're coming up with ideas at that point? Yeah, like, I don't really like writing with a pen. So yeah. Like, I do most of my songwriting, um, making breakfast, having a shower, just in my bed. Laying down, going to like just normal stuff. Do you worry about, I mean, grime music going mainstream? Think it might lose its roots, or do you think that's that's part of the plan? I think it can never be a bad thing for more people to know about something. Mm. I think, and the way the way like with like social media and the way like music is promoted now, so much more of the power is in the artist's hands mm. as opposed to the record labels. So. You know, like at the moment, you see an artist like just make a record and shoot. It's literally just artist consumer, so you're getting the the purest thing. Let's talk about acting a little bit now. What is it, I suppose, about that that crossover between music and acting? Is it something you found easy? When you enjoy something, it's easy to be passionate about it and hardworking. To me, it felt almost like it's paid to have fun, which is kind of how I see music. It's a whole different experience. Mm -hmm. Seeing something developing and growing from a baby, like right from the pilot all the way up to the being in the premiere. Would you like to move on to, I mean, different roles? Yeah, I want a black superhero, rom-com, <laughs> and I want to do like, you know, like, not Game of Thrones kind of thing, oh, but like something amazing. in like an old school thing. Superhero as well is the outfit. So I mean, yeah. Lycra. Lycra, spandex, leather, can work though, really. Okay, yeah. Take it in. So it's not just MC, not just actor, you're a footballer as well. So we've got some football challenges lined up. Me and you are going to be going head to head on different teams. You up for it? Of course, let's go for it. Let's do this, man. Hey, the best man wins. Let's win. do it. Man, I've got to put my kit on. Okay. It's time for the crossbar challenge. I've got something of an advantage because I've got two guys on my team. Are so you two? I've got two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. I need all the help I can get. I've got Tommy and I've got Romario from the Millwall Lions Centre. Okay. Who have you got on your team? All I need is Mac. Yeah? Just Mike, only one Mike. Look at Mike's face, you can tell. He fancies himself a crossbar kick. Of course, kick. of course. Okay, so best of three, boys, let's do it. Go on. Now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Well, I do feel a little bit cheated. I can't really hold it against Scorcher that he won the crossbar challenge. And to be honest, it was just nice to get an insider's perspective from one of the best grime MCs around.